Hello everyone, today in this video, I'll show you how to share a Canvas app in Power Apps with an external user or guest user's Gmail ID step-by-step -step practically. This is my demo Canvas app. I will share this with my guest user's Gmail ID. So let's get started. This is my finance management demo app. I will share this app with my guest or external user's Gmail ID and user will be able to open and use this app. For this, first, we need to add my guest in the Azure Active Directory. What I'll do is first I'll create that. External user whom I am going to share my Canvas app. I'll create that user using the invite external user here in Azure. Then I will just enter the external user Gmail ID, and I will keep the rest of the fields as is. I will just create this guest user. Here, let's click on this review and invite button. These are the details of this guest user. I'm just clicking on this. Yes, my external guest user is being created in my Azure Active Directory. The next thing is I will quickly go over and I will create a security group. I'll just check that my external user got created. Yes, my external guest user got created. This is my external Gmail user that I created. I will create a dedicated security group for my external user's collaboration, right? How can we create a security group for external users? Click on the new group link. You need to select the group type as a security and need to enter group name and other mandatory parameters. I'm not creating this group as already I have created a security group for my external users collaboration, external or guest users collaboration. This is the group I have created. And as a next step, what I will do is just add my guest user to this group as a member. Add the external user that I have created here. So this is one of the external users I have already created and I will add one more member to this. Security group. Now, what is that? I am searching my external user Gmail ID. Yes, this is my external user or guest user Gmail ID I just created. I'll just add it over here. So, my external user got added to my security group. Now what I'll do is, what I need to do is assign licenses to this group. I've already added that. I'll show you how to do that. Now, adding, removing, and reprocessing licensing assignments is only available within the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So this is not possible from Azure and this is the license I have. Add it already. How did I do that? I went to Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Then from the billing section, I went to the licenses. Then I can see the available subscriptions in my tenant. You can pick the subscriptions for your requirements. Here for this demo requirement, I will pick the Microsoft 365 E5 developer without Windows and audio conferencing. So for this Power App sharing, I need to select this subscription Microsoft 365 E5 developer without Windows and audio conferencing. Then I can assign that subscription to my security group, which I just created or showed in this demo. Right, this step already I did, and that is how you can see it here. 
So how did I do that? I went to Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Then I went to the billing section, expanded it. Then from the licenses, there I could see the subscriptions that I need. So I will assign this subscription to my security group. How to do that? Now you can assign licenses to specific users or you can assign licenses at the security group level. Click on this Assign Licenses menu. You can select the user here. Even the user, what I created, I can select it here and I can directly assign these licenses to this external user. But I don't want to do that. I want to. Assign the licenses through the security group so that all external collaboration or external guest users will have the same licenses. Instead of assigning them individually, which makes admin job hurdle. So if you want to add user base license, you can add the license this way. However, if you want to add a group base license, you need to switch to the groups tab and You need to click on this as in licenses here, and this one already I have selected so that it is assigned. So what I need to do is I just need to select external users security group. Already, I have assigned the subscription licenses to my external security group, so I am not getting it again. I'll just select another one. Test. Security group. I have selected another security group just to show you how we can add and assign licenses. Type my security group and select it. Similarly, I did this for my external collaboration security group as well. Select the apps and services that you need. You can uncheck them even if you don't need them. For Power Apps, you must select Power Apps Office 365 Plan 3, at least for now. We need to select the Power Apps Office 365 Plan 3. Click on this Assign button. So this is how. I have added licenses for my external collaboration security group. This takes some time to get it provisioned. You can close this screen. And do other stuff then revisit this page again. Let's refresh this page to see the license assignment status. We can see the license status as all assigned here. All right. Yes, all licenses assigned. So this is the one I actually did earlier, and this one I showed you now. Now the next thing I need to do is go to the SharePoint. I'll go to my SharePoint demo site to provide permission to my external security group. In this app one, I'm using this list as a data connection or data source. So what I will do, I need to assign permission. To this list, how can I assign that external security group permission here? Go to your list. Click on this list settings. Then click on this permissions for this list. Then click on this stop inheriting permissions. Just click on this to break the inheritance for this list permissions. Click on this OK button. 
Now the next thing I'll do is grant permissions to this list. I will add my external user security group. I am searching my external user security group. So this is my external user. Collaboration security group I have created. I want to assign permission to this group and ensure that. This email is checked already. By the way, by default, this will be in. Check state. You can include a customized invitation message as well. I'm not going to do this as optional and the permission level. By default, it will be as edit. Let's go with the edit permission level. I tried with lowering the permission level to contribute, but it didn't work. I checked this personally and still it was asking for permission while I shared it with an external user. Then once I switched this permission from contribute to edit, it worked. So let's go with the edit permission level. I can share now, I just clicked on this share. button. So let me refresh this SharePoint permissions page. Yes, external or guest users collaboration security group, I can see here. This is a domain group with edit permission level. Next thing what I'll do, I need to go to my power apps and share this app to my security group. That is the thing I need to do here. How can I do that? This is my Canvas demo app. I will click on the share icon and I will search my external collaboration security group. Yes, got my external guest users collaboration security group, right? So I picked my security group here and I can see. This is the user level permission means the shared users can use this app only. However, you can select as co-owner as well, which means they can use, edit, and share the app, but not delete or change owners. That also you can do. I'll go with this default user permission. Can use the app only permission. Next, I will click on this share button. Now my Canvas app is being shared. Meanwhile, I can copy this app link as well. And let's close this screen. What I'll do is now I'll log into my Gmail using my guest user account or Gmail ID. Yes, I can see that. I got an email. I should have received another invitation like this. This email is for the guest user invitation. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to receive the app sharing invitation email. Let's not wait for the email invitation to come. I can open my app using the direct link even. Basically, using the direct app link or the app invitation link in the email, your guest user will be able to sign to your Power Apps using the Gmail ID. To authenticate to Power Apps, external users will receive authentication verification code in their emails. I will copy my Canvas app link and Directly open in my guest user Gmail session. Perfect, it opened. And I am able to log into my finance management app. Using my external Gmail account, I can do the CRUD operation as well. Let me type something here. 
to insert a new record. I am passing sample data to the app to create a new record. Please see the screen how I am entering the sample data. Yes, my new record got added successfully using my external user Gmail ID. So, that's all for today. I hope you liked and enjoyed this demo and learned something new today. If this helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel. In the upcoming days, I'll come up with many trending videos on Microsoft's latest technologies like Microsoft Copilot, Gen AI, Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Pages, SharePoint Online, Artificial Intelligence, and many more. Kindly be with me and help me to grow on this journey. Thank you.